fourth work day of the week and also time to get into the Lord's Care Ministry A Light Shining From Above Day 316 of the year 2008 Now brethren, open up your Bibles and come and read with me over in the 2 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 10 Write these down as I always say so you can go back and study this at your own leisure. Second Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 10. Godly sorrow is working repentance not to be repented of. Matthew chapter 26 and verse 75. Peter remembered the words of Jesus which said unto him before the cock crow Thou shalt deny me thrice. And he went out and wept bitterly. Now we turn over to 1 John chapter 1 and verse 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 John chapter 1 and verse 7 The blood of Jesus Christ His Son is cleaning us from all sin. You notice brethren, I'll repeat again whenever I see an E-T-H I put an I-N-G in its place and an is before the word that brings this first right up to date. The blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, is cleaning us from all sin. Now into Psalms, chapter 40 and verses 12 through 13. Mine iniquities or my lawlessness have taken hold upon me, so I am not able to look up. They are more than the hairs of my head, therefore my heart is failing me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me, O Lord. Make haste, haste to help me. Hosea, that means, that Hosea means Savior in the Hebrew. Hosea, chapter 12 and verse 6. Turn thou to thy God, keep mercy and judgment, and wait on thy Lord continually. Psalms chapter 1, uh, pardon me, Psalms chapter 51 and verse 17 we read, The sacrifices of God are broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. O God, thou wilt not despise. Now over to Psalms chapter 147 and verse 3. He is healing the broken heart and is binding up their wounds. Now we'll go over to Micah chapter 6 and verse 8. He hath showed thee, O man, what is good, and what doeth the Lord require of thee, but to do justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with thy God. Anticipation of the believer of support in the hour of death. Psalms chapter 23 and verse 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff comfort me. When the veil of death appears, fate and cold this morning clay, Kind forerunner, forerunner, soothe my fears. Light me through the dark some way. Bread the shadows. Usher in eternal day. In God's word only do we trust. Never in the tradition of men. His, a Philippian pilgrim, a workman for God, a friend of Christ. The 
the mercy of God is an ocean divine. Psalms chapter 32 and verse 10 we read, He that is trusting in the Lord, mercy shall come pass about him. Brother, do you trust the Lord? If not, the mercy isn't with you. The Lord says, If you love me, keep my commandments. And that don't mean just the commandments that you think you like. Or the one down on the corner says, Hey, these commandments were all hung on the cross. The only thing on the cross was King of the Jews. And it was written in three languages. That it is. The Lord did get rid of the ordinances contained in the law. Many of these ordinances Judaism had put there. God didn't. Brethren, if you're believing that man down on the corner, if you say, I love the Lord, prove it. Follow him. Get on that narrow path that leads to kingdom of salvation. And if you don't know the way, get down on your knees and repent and ask the Lord for forgiveness for not believing the written word that he has given you in the Bible. And if you truly want to do that in your heart, ask for the wisdom of understanding his word. Don't rely on man. Relord, rely on the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, brethren, with that we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. And with that, God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.